guys, welcome to another special edition of Grimes Find. And why is it a special edition? Well, because every episode is a special edition. And why? Because we've never done this and we keep getting these cool opportunities. So anyway, uh, if you just saw uh, Locker Stalker, Locker Stalker, is that right? Why does that sound so weird? Locker nut storage stalker. Storage stalker. What did I just call him? Locker stalker. Locker stalker. Hey, hey, if you don't have a name, you might want to go with that. Uh, but storage stalker. So if you just watched his last video, I think from yesterday, uh, he just unveiled, he just found one of these full of jewelry and no BS, uh, which actually it connects them to that is if you saw Alex and Pirate going through one unit, I think it was on Alex's channel. This actually came out of the back of the unit. So this was there. They just weren't good enough to find it. So anyway, uh, we're gonna unveil this and this is gonna be our video for today. And hey, make sure tonight at Borderline Hoarderish, uh, she is, uh, I'm definitely subscribed to her. She will, actually I think I added her to uh, my future channels. If not, uh, find it. I'll put the link in on our community page as well and down in the descriptions. Uh, but we will be on there tonight, 8 p.m. Central Time. It will be her first guest for the first hour and then I can't remember who she said for the second hour. Just be there and you'll find out. So anyway, uh, here's what here's the deal. I did pop open these drawers. I'm going to show you what I've seen so far and then you're going to go through this with me the first time. So here's what was in the first drawer. Okay, I, I seriously I have not taken anything out. I haven't even done that. That's the first time I've done that. Uh, but look, I see boxes. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just test it. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I am. Oh, look. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? It's a class ring. No. Well, uh, here's the deal. It's Balfour. It's a ten. Lakeview Centennial. What? That's where I graduated from. It only costs one hundred twenty-nine dollars, so we know it's not gold. Could be silver. Silver, definitely. Silver. Could be silver. Uh, anyway, hey, look. So look at that. Oh, look. David's favorite. Hey, boy. Something in there. All right. So look. That's what I've seen. Uh, there was, uh, okay, so here, if you see this, see in here, nothing in there. Why? Because I threw this in the back of my pickup truck, and this flopped open, so I put all this stuff in here. So this is what, what was in the top drawer, or that was right in this area right here. Uh, so we did see this. I threw this in there. I have not checked any of this, but look at this. Uh, some skull designer skull stuff can be worth a ton of money. I've sold a stainless steel, I think, uh, skull bracelet for like five, six hundred bucks, something stupid. But it was because of the artist. Uh, so I'll check to see if those are signed. So this was right in here. Uh, this was in here. Actually, this was in the back, uh, was in the unit, but I set it aside so they got in here. But check this out anyway. I guess while we're here, huh? I think these are actually nice. Look at these Oakleys. Those are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Those are really nice. So this could be two, three, four hundred dollars sunglasses. It could be twenty dollars sunglasses. I don't know. Uh, hey, anyway, Holy Bible. That's the most valuable thing in there. Uh, but check it out. So this stuff was in top of here, but look, there was a peace dollar, right? So that's silver. Mm -hmm. Okay. In our auction, it's a twenty-three. That'll probably bring about twenty-five, thirty bucks. So, and what did we spend on this unit? I don't remember. I don't know. I said 70 it. or 80. Yeah, if something dumb. Yeah. So anyway, so look, this is what was in there. Oh no, are you kidding me? Oh, it's really fake. Oh, I can feel it by fake. Look, it's a it's a it says Rolex. Is it a Folex? Look, Rolex. Hey, look, you wanna do a thumb? Yeah. It's not clickbait, is it? It's really a Rolex, it's just a fake Rolex. Yeah. So there it is. That's <laughs> that's how we do it, y'all. Uh, so anyway, a Folex. Nothing in there. Okay. Uh, there's something special in here, okay? This was in the top. So, check it out. This was in the top. This is the only reason I know why this is in here. Let's check this out. Psych, we're waiting till the end. <laughs> uh, so we're getting better, huh? Uh, so I have a magnet somewhere. I can't find it, but we'll take a magnet to all this stuff. Uh, look in here. Look, more skull rings. Wasn't that what was in here? Right, skull rings? It was like... I don't know. Input. I don't know. Oh, look, oh, hey, look. Look at that. Hey, man. Look, more skull rings. These can be money, y'all. Look, another skull ring. There's another one right here, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. That's a, a cobra ring. And these could, hey, look, these could be gas station freaking rings. I don't know, but we're going to look them up. Check this out, though. Pocket watch. West Clocks Scotty Shock Resistant. Made in USA. Uh, well... Shock resistant, they're saying that kind of, let's see. 
All right, I'll take the back of this off later. We'll look at that, but look, here's some more rings. These look like stainless. But look at this, oh, that's a cool bracelet. Uh, more rings, these look like stainless, but these are still sellable rings, y'all. Uh, ooh, uh, Boker, is Boker with the tree? It's got a tree, I don't know, let's see. Let's see if I remember nice. Let's sell that one. What did I think to it? Yo, Boker. Woo! I sold enough knives. I've probably sold thousands and thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of knives. Uh, so anyway, watch bands. Genuine leather made in Hong Kong. Oh, look at that cuff. That's a serious cuff right there. What else? Dude, this was full of good. I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's see. Ready? Oh, hold on. I'm glad I opened it up. Let me take this out. That's sad. Oh my God, I found a gold nugget. O face, right? That's what they say. You gotta do the O face. Uh, I'm sure this is 120% genuine, so we just scored. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, I'm gonna take this out. I really like that pocket watch. But look at all these rings, wearable rings. Ooh, some kind of claws. Is that stainless? Okay. Oh, it's another Bible. So hey, right here, I bet you anything. This. What we just found here pays for it. Would you say so? Mm -hmm. I definitely think so. Yeah. Watch the auction to make sure. Uh, so anyway, that's what was in here. That's a great box. I'm really curious to get into these. But here's what else I saw. Okay. Haven't been through it. Uh, this. Actually, I don't know if I looked in the door. I just pulled them open real fast. Look, all this fell to the back. Let's check that for gold. Uh, normally, what I'll do is, is I'll take a big magnet and I'll just start doing this and pulling the chunks off. Um... So we saw that, and then the bottom door looked like it was promising as well. Oh, oh wait, there's stuff right here though. Did that just come out of there? Look, let's see. Oh. Is there one box that'll rattle? I wanna rattle one box. Oh, what's that? I'm kinda just going through it, ain't I? <laughs> All right, uh, so we'll put that aside. Ooh, what's in here? So let's go through it. You want to go through it? Yep. Let's go through it. Don't forget, we got to come back to this. Yep. Yeah. Just want to sort of see stuff out. Uh, go ahead and uh, good, clean uh, boxes that are not like dirty dish stuff. Go ahead and bring them in here. We're just going to sort it right in here. Okay. So we'll, hey, we're going to hold this till next. This is the good stuff, I hope. All right. Just... Hey, man, look at that monkey. What the heck? Look at him. Look what he's doing. <laughs> I bet I could do that. I'm going to try that. That's a jiu-jitsu move. Look. Uh, so was it three bucks? All right. That's a Walmart brand. Is it? Don't say that. Oh, here's a receipt for something for one hundred and five dollars. Oh, so security card. Ah, oh, dang it! It's probably gonna be a tooth anyway. Oh, look, ten karat gold. Well, poor, you thought it was a tooth. I did. <laughs> look, it's just a little baby ring, size zero. That's cute. Oh, look at that. We got gold. We found a lot of gold this week. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Pictures. That's a bit. Oh, let's not show the baby. Oh, look at these. You know what those are? Lot it's called stickers. lot stickers. <laughs> we'll take those. The mom. Let's see this too. Save that for a second. I don't know if that's in there. Oh, let's check the Avon. I've got a lifelong relationship with Avon. It disappointed me. <laughs> It's gonna be Avon too. Let's look in here. I want gold. I need gold. You see any real gold in here? Oh, maybe be another ring? Yeah, yeah. another 10 karat gold ring. Man, we're finding the gold. Is this another one? Another 10 karat mm -hmm. gold ring. Little oh, baby, it's probably a little grammar. A little gram. Okay. Check these. What is this? Dakota Memorial Medical Center food. No, that doesn't make me happy to see that. Is that like a, a baby spoon? I don't know. Yeah, I hope it's nothing bad, right? Mm. Used them before Mesquite Community Hospital. I just hope it doesn't mean that they like the baby is sick or something. Yeah. 
and that would be sad. All right, so now the one. Uh oh, cha -ching! I don't think it's special. It's not. Twenty sixteen. Yeah, it's not gonna be precious metal. But that's wild. I graduated from Lakeview. That's crazy. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try to find this person and give it back. I don't know. I'll think about it. There's so many variables to this stuff. Everybody it seems to be an expert and just wants to blurt out what we should do. Guys, there's so much. Do you, you see like this much context of, of a situation? Uh, so I guess I'll address this real quick, like the clothes and stuff. We get a lot of comments about, oh, why are you throwing those clothes away? Well, one, these units are usually uh, completely soiled with rat urine, cat urine, raccoons, possums, whatever the heck can squeeze through those holes in the roof. Some of them don't even have gates to, where you can just get down in them. So anyway, you don't see the huge stack of stuff back there that we do have to donate. <coughs> but here's the deal. I'm not one of video, and I've said this a hundred times. You'll probably never see me video and giving something to someone or doing that. That's private. But, uh, that's just between me, them, and God. And that's just my opinion. I don't think it's wrong if you do it. It's just not for me. So anyway, I, we do give, but I don't. I don't need to explain that honestly to people. Right? No. Yep. Then we got any gold in here? Um, I would like some gold. Gold would be nice. Those are played in. Okay. I don't see anything jumping off the mm -mm. Man. All right, so let's just let's do this. Let's do this business. Alright, so we got some oh what's this? Timex. Old Timex. Oh, look. There's a Dermy Jeremy or a disgusting Justin as Jeremy now calls it. <laughs> he said it's no longer the Dermy Jeremy. That's funny. Okay, don't like that drawer. All right, come on, give us the gold. Give us the gold. All right, that's kind of pretty. Yeah, oh, that'd be nice if that was gold, but that's obviously plated. Christmas posters. We'll check. Ooh, that'd be nice if that was, but that's not gold. What's this little watch? Uh, cute little watch. Let's just turn that over. It's not show their faces. All right. Meh. Oh. These little baby things. Just make sure this is like that. Looks like my costume. It doesn't mean the stuff's not worth anything, guys. Don't freak out on me. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm just doing this for a gold video because gold videos are exciting. Oh, look. USB connector. That's probably to like connect something out, huh? Not for memory. No. All right, where are we at? Oh, are we really at the last drawer? Oh, my God, man, that went so fast. How long is this? 13 minutes. 13 minutes? All right. Well. Hey, look, man, you can't make this up. Y'all, 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 it's time for another plug. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Who do you think I'm about to plug? What would I be pulling out of here that I might be plug, plugging another channel? Probably either something to be like a unicorn for pirate. Okay. That's it? That's know. all you got? Yeah. Okay, you'll never get this one. Hey, guys, this is a break at Grimes Finds for a oh. Wait, did you see it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, all right. Hey, who are we, who are we promoting? Pat D's. Pat D's 72 Nuts. All right, anyway. I, for real, look, there's peanuts in there. I didn't make that up. <laughs> hey, you see, look, how God, God's just lining this up for you, Pat. He's just giving you all these promotional opportunities. He put peanuts in this drawer. Uh, anyway, uh, that's a uh, some kind of service pin. Usually these are uh, gold filled. That's usually what those are, like one tenth. Um, I don't see anything else in here. Carrot count. That'd be nice if those were real. Okay. All right. So what else do we have? Did I set something up here that we didn't look at? Your the little sunglasses the case. Thing. Well, you set the other thing up. The spoon. Where? We already looked at. Alright, so here it is guys. So hey, the gold video didn't go as long as I thought, but hey, good 15 minute video, huh? Yep. Alright, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I think it's in here. Is it over here? Oh, there it is. Alright, so this is part of the other thing that was in here. So we paid about, I don't know, 70, 80, I'll say 100 bucks. We'll just go with 100 bucks. I don't remember what I paid for the unit. It wasn't a lot. Uh, but the stuff that the guys are about to be bringing in, there's a lot more stuff I found. Uh, actually, I might just wait and pop in. Now I gotta release this by one done. 
Mm -hmm. All right, you're not going to see that. I will film unboxing today, but you're just going to have to come back tomorrow or the next day or the next day because i got so many videos. I don't know which one I'm going to release. Uh, oh, did you see it? Yeah. Oh, you saw it. Right. Yeah. I'm getting bad at this. All right, so check this out. This is a class ring, and this one is actually 10 karat gold. Okay, so we got that. Uh, this one was... I think 14 yep 14 karat gold uh, so here's a little tip it's missing a little diamond right there uh, here, here's what you can usually guess if it's plated diamonds you can almost guarantee are not real people are not going to set real diamonds in a non-precious metal uh, and silver usually doesn't get diamonds if it's silver it's usually CZ's 14 karat and up is usually what I find that the smaller diamonds are always real I'm going to assume these are real but we'll test them with the tester uh, this one right here was uh, 925. It's still a really pretty ring. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll clean that up. Okay. And is this one right here is 14 karat gold. Can you see that? Yep. Uh, yep. You see it? Okay. So here's the deal. Uh, look, this is gold. This is not silver, so I'm not going to put this in here. But y'all want to see? Y'all want to see? Y'all want to see how much gold we found? Yeah. All right, come on. Here, you go on this side. Did you put, put it where I told you to put it? Oh, stay over there. Put what where I told you to put it? My, my gold score for the week. Oh, yes. Can you see me back here? It's dark. You, we can see. All right, so look, here is the scale. This is the gold that we found uh, in the last set of units that we just bought. Uh, look, we found two gold class rings this week. Gold we found. So a lot of this is wearable, so we will be selling it in the auction um, for uh, the premium, right? Because uh, I don't know what spot is today on gold. I haven't checked it because, like I said in the AA meeting last night, uh, I think now's the time to hold on to gold. Um, if just scrap gold, stuff like this, you'll get a premium. Um, class rings, not so much unless they're older, like from the 40s, 50s, 60s. Those are like still collectible. Uh, but modern stuff, a, a 2005-2015 ring, those just, they're not collectible. Uh, maybe one day, just not now. So look, this is all of the gold that I know for sure is gold that we found. So let's turn this on. What's it say? Zero. Oh, zero. So let's see. Hey, here's the deal. Y'all don't even know. We have like at least 10, well, up here is about 4,000 square feet, uh, top and bottom. Mm -hmm. I, heck, I don't even know. I haven't even looked at the thing chart. Back there, I've got at least 12,000, 10 to 12,000 square feet full of boxes from these units. So what I'll do is I will may do a second update at the end of one of tomorrow's videos or tomorrow the next day's video to show you how much more. But for right now, this week is what we found in gold. Let's see. What do you think is gonna be? How many grams? Guess. Eight. Eight grams? I hope. Woo! I was hoping more like 40, 50. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what your gram weighs. I've I know. Never That's why it. I asked you. It's entertainment, Katie. It's entertainment. <laughs> so look, let's see. You said right. eight, right? Oh, I was thinking ounces. I wish we had. If we had eight ounces of gold, uh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> we might end up with that. But let's see. Just these two rings. What's Fifteen. Like? Woo! All right. So hey, get this, guys. So when you take your gold into these places, what they're gonna do is they are going to guess how much these weigh. And they're going to say, oh, I don't know, I'll, I'll subtract about this. And hey, some of them may be really good at it, uh, but some of them may be taking you for a ride. So what I'm saying is, is you need to uh, just be very cautious uh, because that's what they're doing. They put all this on there and be like, oh, yeah, well, look at these diamonds and stuff like that. And what they're going to try to do is, is deduct that off of your weight. Uh, so like Jeremy said, at what the hells, uh, if you're a business, get a an account at the refinery near you. I uh, just got to. This is the kind of crap I get from Pirate. Look. Can you read that? Sup, Sup ladies. ladies. <laughs> That's to me and Alex. Uh, hold on one second. Come on. All He's right. such a dork. All right. Uh, so that's what they're doing. They're going to guess that. So you can either, if it's scrap, you can pop it out if you want. That takes a long time. I don't have time for that. Uh, these millies is what they're going to call these. It's not worth taking out. Um, so anyway, any of that. So you want to see what total was? Yeah. The two were 15? Yeah. 15 grand. Uh, here's the deal. One more lesson. If you take your gold in there, uh, separate it. 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, separate it into baggies because if you don't, 
some places will they'll just try to pay you on 10 carat because maybe you don't know that maybe you don't know that 10 carat is a lot less than 14 carat and then what they're going to do is they're going to say well i got to take it to the refinery and what happens is uh so say if i took this to the refinery they're not just going to give me cash right there for it what they're going to do is they're going to melt it down they're going to get all the impurities out and then they're going to print a report and then they're going to pay me based off of that so you can't just go off of this weight and assume that so anyway separate your goal before you take it there's a lot of ways you can be taken advantage of you ready yeah uh-oh 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 what's it up 38 oh man not close as i thought i wanted it to be 41 40 you said 45 did i really yeah no i didn't yeah you did i said 40 to 50 didn't i no you said 45 hey I, i'm not joking that's the first time i just touched that stuff hey that's pretty dang close but hey, here's the deal uh i've been doing this a long time it's not that impressive if you do it a long time too you'll know it too you can just kind of feel stuff in your hand and you know uh, but anyway, so 44 grams of gold, right? Well, not total 44 grams. There's not a lot of gems in here, but like these, these are nice. These are 14 karat gold. I'll check those diamonds. I'm sure, I don't know, this is mine. I figure diamonds usually that big, um, usually are in 18 karat uh, plus. Um, but I could be wrong. This could be real. We'll test them. So anyway, 44 gold so far. I'm going to get this video ready because we got to do... Um, we gotta get this crap unpacked. We got an auction to get up. And don't forget, tonight, Borderline Hoarders, 8 p.m. Central Time, be on there. I know I will be. Not sure what we're gonna talk about. Um, we'll just see. Uh, but anyway, uh, make sure to go on my future channels, like, hit the subscriber, make sure every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Central uh, to join us at AA panel uh, live interview. And next week is at Locker Nuts channel, so make sure to like him. He's on my future channels, and we'll see you at the next unit. All right, guys, so hey, I thought that was the end of the video. We did the outro and all that crap, and then we started. So you look around. We started processing in here. Uh, maybe I should make this a second video. Maybe I shouldn't. I think I should just make this one better. What do you think? Yeah, just keep so going. So anyway, we're sitting here, me and Katie. The guys are bringing stuff in. We're processing them. Here's what we're doing. If it's an individual lot, if you can see, we've already started kind of setting up for the auction. Okay? Uh, you'll notice some of pirate stuff in here, uh, the marine posters and things like that. Uh, but so... If it's an individual item that I think, hey, that's a good, solid individual lot, it goes ahead and we go ahead and lot it. Uh, if it's a sellable item that we might do a shelf lot or maybe uh, something different with that goes in here uh, or goes in trash, we started tools. I got toys. I got hats. Uh, I've got Bibles. See, hey, another thing y'all don't know, I probably, I got hundreds of Bibles in the back that I pass out uh, in the winter when we pass out jackets and blankets and stuff for the homeless. Uh, but anyway, so check this out, y'all. I've got to add this to the video. Look. Ooh. This is what I've seen so far. All I did, I did this, and I said, Katie, get the camera. This is what I did. Look. This is, this, <laughs> do you think I, we should record this, or you think Heck maybe yeah. we'll just tell them about it later? What do you think? Let's record it. Let's All see right, let's do it. All right, so what do these say? They say rock revival. Oh, my gosh. I was telling you all about skull rings. Mm-hmm. So I don't, these, hey, here's the deal. These could be all like just mass stuff that you ordered, uh, but I'll definitely check for signatures, things like that. Uh, but look at these. I don't, I don't get the fascination with skulls, but it looks like he wore this one. Oh, that's a, that's a lady. Oh, is that Lady Justice? She's got a, never mind. I was gonna say she had a blindfold on, although that doesn't necessarily mean she's, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Affliction, heck yeah. Look at this, man. Look, some of this was silver. Look, another skull ring. Golly, man, I'm gonna be blinked out with skulls. Will that fit on my thumb? Man, look at these. Look at this. Bracelets. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm gonna check uh, this. This. This might be worth some money, y'all. I don't know. I'll, I'll check it out. Look at these, y'all. Is that sterling? That's, that's silver. Okay. 925. Okay. So, I, I mean, this is wild, y'all. Man, this was a good week of units, wasn't it? Thank you. All right, hold on. Oh, we did the shake. Nothing's coming in. Let's see, look, more skulls. Uh, let's see, look at this stuff. This is wild. 
look, belt, belt buckles, made in USA. Uh, can you see that? You show them that? Maybe y'all want to look that up. Maybe nothing. It could be like Hot Topic or something like that yeah. from the mall. Something like that. Ooh. Does the box say Ooh. anything? Ooh. How many grams of gold did we already find? 44. 44? These look like studs or something to make belts. That's full. What's that say? Rustic cuff? I don't want to know what that's all about. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, look. We found a gun. This is probably, it's shaped like a gun and the blade comes out, let's see. Oh, no, it's not, but look, look, little baby bullet, bullet knife. That's nice, that's a nice little set of mm -hmm. item. That's the stuff we're looking for. You gotta be kidding me, y'all. Every pouch has something in it. That's empty. Styling, or piling up over here. It is, isn't it? Okay, this goes over there, hold on, let's be careful. That says fossil. Yeah, like I said, it may not be nothing. That's a, uh, that's a cute little box. We'll check that out. Look, look. Is that a Folex? Oh, man, we already found one Folex. This dude's teasing me. I'm going to guess there's not a Rolex. Roll look, that's a cool fossil watch. Man, that's my style. I'm doing this not. That's like uh, Junkman. Junksman style. Uh, but check these out. More watches. I know some of these chain-linked bracelets can be worth a lot. Uh, it says KMC. I don't know if that one can be. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Geneva. Geneva. That's a guess. I actually kind of like that watch. But it's missing the link. Okay, so there's no Rolex stamp on the back. That's a good sign. Because uh, usually if they're stamped, they're not. Uh, the fisheye. I'm calling that fisheye. I don't know. Swiss made. I, it, I don't know. It's got a it's little serial number on it. So if it says Rolex on the back, it normally means it's fake? I don't know. Uh, yeah. If it's stamped Rolex on the back, they're usually blank. Um, another way you can usually tell is this, but look how all that's come off, and I just don't think Rolex quality would allow that to rub off like that. So, hey, it, it's weird. It's like in between, so it's probably like a half butt knockoff. But we'll get it checked out. All right, what else? Do we have anything else in there? What is this? Ooh, look, bro. Oh, look, a guitar pick. Oh, wow. Dude, what if these are real? You think these are real? What are they? Seriously. Oh. I don't I'm know. Gonna, we're going to, I'm going to call Mike. It's in a Game Boy case. Look at this, y'all. You think these are real? Do you awesome. think those are real? I don't know. Look, there's another 10 karat gold ring, one of those baby rings. Mm -hmm. Okay, if these are real, we could have some money here, y'all. Those are pretty chunky diamonds. We're gonna go get these checked. Okay, what else? All right, enough with this. I gotta get into that. I gotta know what's in this. This is a cool case, y'all. This thing probably paid for the unit. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right, we got more skull stuff. Affliction. Oh, this looks like it might be precious metal. That looks like it's silver. All right, there's that one. Let's see what's in this one. Let's see what we got first. You ready? Yep. All right. Eisenhower, <laughs> boo. I saw, boo. I was like, man, look. S quick secret you see that can you tell can they tell the difference no okay you'll have so, to compare them yeah i'd have to show you two but see how there's a thin layer of silver i mean this place it's not silver quick way to turn you you like half dollars <laughs> or quarters or 64 and, and earlier is to line them up just take your your quarters and turn them sideways and you'll be able to tell real quick if they're 40 or 90 percent silver real quick uh but anyway i guess that's not really much. check this out Two dollar bill. Have a look. These Metallica, the Cult. Look at these. What's that say? King Diamond. Look at this. Two dollar bills. Okay. I got a 1995, 76, and a 76. 
Hey man, we're finding cash this week. What do you think? I really want to find some more gold. All right, hey, here's the, the good stuff, right? This is the stuff you put in your face. I'm gonna bet some of these are gold. Golly, could you imagine if, good Lord. I'm assuming all of this is fake, y'all. I always assume everything's, could you imagine if that was real? Oh, heck yeah. Could you imagine if that was real right there? Here, you want to, here, You can see. compare it to my CZ, cause you can kind of. Yeah, but there's some really good ones. Um, so what I'll do is, is I'm just gonna take a diamond tester to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, just gonna check these real quick. I'll tell you right now, if this if this setting is not gold, these are not diamonds because you do not set stuff like that in there. Uh, so anyway, I don't know if these are real. Uh, these are actually stamped. These might be gold diamonds, golden diamonds. So we'll check these out. I'm gonna have those looked at. I'm gonna have this looked at. Well, not looked at. I'm just gonna go free and put the machine up to it. All right. So that's good stuff. That's a Jacob question. Well, here's the thing. The only the person that had this unit, because it's not signed or anything, is going to know the meaning behind this, or if he got it at a concert or anything. Well, they have, like, amber picks and stuff. Amber picks? Yeah, like Heck amber yeah. glass. Look at this. Just a broken necklace. Yep. All right, sorry, we got a phone call. Uh, anyway, so we got one more little thingamajiggy. Actually, let's look at these real quick, just to make sure there's nothing hidden in here. Right? All right, looks like little studs. Or little uh, thing, button studs, or whatever the heck you want to call them. Oh, oh wait, hold on. Uh, just some foreign coinage. Oh, look at here. These might be silver. So we'll look these over. That's not silver for sure. Anyway, all right. One last box, and I promise you this is the end of the video, unless they bring something else cool in. Ready? What do you think? I think that's stainless. I think all this is probably stainless. Man, what's those real diamonds? See, here's the thing. He probably popped stuff like that out of these. You know, like, mm -hmm. are those those right there that are missing? You know, did he just keep all these? Because, no, those are actually ring size, aren't they? And look, it looks like he's got little pieces of scrap gold in here, so it makes me wonder. I'm going to have these tested. I've always wanted to find a bag of diamonds and it be real. So anyway, hey, uh, make sure to follow our other videos. Uh, tomorrow, I'll try to have an update. I'm gonna run this up to a jewelry store and take the diamond tester to it um, and see if any of these are real. But if, hey, if some of these are real, could be a little bit of money. So anyway, uh, promise you that's it. We'll see you at the next unit.